Hi, this is Oliver Lucanis, Conservation Ambassador for Fluval Aquatics. So we've been looking at every aspect of making an aquarium look more natural, from the light to background to the substrate and rock. We've not talked about wood, and that is because it's a little bit tricky. In the tropics, our snowmelt is the same as the rainy season there. When this happens, rivers go over the banks and fallen branches, trees and root systems end up in the water. We've all heard the term flooded forest, which sounds awesome, but it occurs mostly in the Amazon lowland. Elsewhere, water levels bump up 4 to 6 meters, or 15 to 20 feet. The forest around may not be totally underwater, but bushes and shrubs that grow along the margins in the riparian zone get flooded. It is here that many fish like to breed, and when this happens, it looks like someone submerged a bunch of willows or alders that grow along the margins of rivers in the northern hemisphere. When the water levels rise, the creeks and rivers also eat away at the banks and trees fall into the water. They are then angled downwards and over time, the bottom branches snap off from the weight and the tree turns into the direction of the water. The root ball is usually upstream because the roots catch on the substrate and the top of the tree is angled downstream. With time, smaller branches get stuck in the root ball and create the same sort of tangles that you see in the spring in rivers of the northern hemisphere. What is important to note is that the way aquarium stores mount driftwood is perhaps the most unnatural way possible, with a thick part of the root at the bottom and then sticking up. Either we are mimicking a root system of a live tree on the riverbank with a live tree above the surface, which then would have the thick part at the top, or a fallen tree, in which case it would be horizontal in the water with a heavy end upstream of the current, and likely smaller branches tangled in the root ball pushed in by the current. I think the first thing to look at is what it is you want the aquarium to look like. If it is a river bank, then roots should be growing downwards, with the heavy end, the root balls, above the surface. That is usually easy to fix. Simply unscrew the titanium screws that hold your driftwood to the slate rock at the bottom and screw it into one of the thinner branches. In the aquarium, this will end up looking much more natural. If you have a larger piece, don't worry about cutting it with a saw and separating it into several pieces. If you want to show the middle section of a river that has no live tree roots but actual driftwood from fallen trees running through the tank, consider cutting a larger branch to fit inside the aquarium horizontally and mounting it just off the bottom. Nearly all fish love this kind of vertical running feature. It provides shelter for some of the more shy tetras, barbs, cichlids and catfish that like to live in the shade, or at least on the edge of the shade near the fallen trees. Fish that are surface oriented such as daniels, hatchetfish or pencilfish really enjoy a complex structure below. This allows them to dive down into the structures for cover and you will find that breaking up the center of the aquarium will make many fish more likely to come out where you see them, especially nocturnal or shy species. In nature, the branches of trees often fall into the water and get tangled in the roots or larger fallen trees. You can mimic this with branches from northern trees also. I use maple or oak branches for this. You will want to look for branches that have spent at least a year on the ground to the point where the thicker part has the bark sloughing off. This should mean they are dry enough not to rot or fungus in the aquarium. I use these kind of dry branches in addition to a piece of driftwood to give the aquarium more structure and make it look more natural. Our woods are much softer than in the tropics and the branches will eventually deteriorate and fall apart or be eaten by fish so they have to be replaced every few months. Remember that when you add this kind of complex structure into your aquarium, it will be very difficult to catch fish if you need to. A mix of the heavier, sinking tropical wood sold in aquarium shops or local driftwood and fallen branches is going to achieve the most natural looking aquascape. Be ready for frequent water changes in the first weeks because adding organic materials such as wood can mean that you will get fungus or bacterial blooms in the beginning Generally, a few water changes will get this under control and eventually reward you with a very natural looking aquarium. In the last video of this series, we will look at the two principal takeaways from these videos to see what two factors will have the biggest impact for the fish and the goal of making a more natural and more dynamic aquarium. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and like these videos and come to have a look at my channel to see some more in-depth videos showing fish in nature all over the world. Thank you.